Hey everyone, it's almost 11.30 at night, it's a Sunday evening, it's the 21st of July and uh, I've just been cooling off for an hour or so because it's got a little bit warm up in this flat. Anyway, there's a few things that I want to uh, talk about and uh, actually show you. Uh, I've got a bunch of diecast cars here and a couple of retro games and some barricade lamps so I need a bit of extra light on the subject here here we go so game wise got Duke Nukem for the PlayStation five pounds and the stick and Dragonfire for the Atari 2600 um, I got those from a shop called Disc and That that sort of specializes in retro games and Retro audio as well and whatnot, so that's where I got those from. I do like going in there when I can. I bought these three in Sainsbury's, brand new singles. Got this, I've already got a Back to the Future DeLorean from Hot Wheels, but not the one where it's in hover mode. So I grabbed that one. I also grabbed that looks sit forwards for some reason. Also grabbed a Ford Focus RS. Focus is not one of my favourite cars, um, but I do like the colour and the graphics on this one. See? And a SRT Dodge Viper GTSR. And a bunch here which are all bought brand new. These are part of the nine car gift packs, which means you do end up with doubles as you can see. There's two yellow ones there, there's two green trucks. Another two there. But uh, I'm definitely keeping these, both of them, because we've got two of those as well. So, some nice vehicles in there. And of course, lastly, at least for this shelf, <laughs> the rest is in the bedroom. Uh, I've got these lamps. Um, a friend of mine who also collects lamps got a hold of a bunch of these and I got first pickings as it were so I got two with the black lid here and two with the yellow lid um, I've already got one with the yellow lid but it's extremely tatty and beat up it's been well used I think uh, so I grabbed two of these because they're actually in better condition and these are actually brighter and more visible than the other one, but I think it's because uh, I'm going to take this apart because I actually want to see, I want to take the lens off. But there seems to be some sort of cover or diffuser over the light bulb which seems to be enhancing the light output. Whereas my other one doesn't have that. I'm going to give my other one to a friend of mine when I next see him. So yeah, these are actually got batteries in, if I can remember where I put the key, it should be around here somewhere. But I do have the key with them as well. Should have been easy to find because I could see the string. This is one that's got a dirty switch, it doesn't always... Um, There we go. I think I'm going to have to change the switch on that one. I have got a spare one because I have a spare circuit board. So I'm going to do a video of these in the dark at some point as well. I want to actually see them in the dark. I think the switches are fine on the other ones. I think it's only this one with the B8 on it that's got the um, dicky switch on it. I might get away if I just spray some cleaner in there or something just to clean the switch. I'll try that first before I mess around replacing it. Right, before we go into the bedroom, actually no, we'll go into the bedroom now, because I can tell you on the way. But uh, my diabetes seems to be playing up. I can't get my sugar levels to balance out. Uh, because one minute, they're at a good level. Like last night I took them before I went to bed, my glucose readings, and 
they were eight point something. I think they're about eight point three, which is actually pretty good, especially for me. That's actually used to be quite normal for me as a diabetic. That's where mine would sit. But then I took them in the morning after a good night's sleep, and they were eleven point seven. Um, and mum and my stepdad both seem to think that uh, my blood sugars are the reason why I've been yawning a lot lately and feeling rather sort of lethargic and tired. Um, so, a trip to the diabetic nurse is in order because it seems they may have to uh, adjust my medication either adjust my pills again it was only like six months ago they last did it but obviously it's not working or perhaps I'm doing something wrong that wouldn't surprise me and my diet is now changing anyway we didn't get to go to a car boot yesterday because of the weather it was cooled off but the same guy runs one today at a different location, so we went there instead. And I've got a few little bits and bobs here. I have to turn you around again. I've got this TV for £10, along with this computer for £10, so I paid 20 quid for both. Um, I want to use that as a monitor, but I'm actually now thinking it's going to be a bit too big. Um, even if it works I don't know if it actually works it says working on it but just because it says working on it doesn't mean it does and I've been duped like that before at car boots oh yeah it works I only want a few quid for it but it works yeah right works my friggin ass but anyway <laughs> um, I've got a bunch of die cast cars down there Matchbox, Corgi, Majorette, and a few Hot Wheels just hiding around here. All from the same seller, actually. and Some were 50p and some were £1. Depends um, what box you got them from. The Hot Wheels were all 50p. Most of those Matchboxes and the Corgis were um, £1. Actually, I know this red lorry here, not the Jeep, the lorry there, that was in the 50p box as well. That guy's um, at a lot of the car boots, so I'll probably see him again and see if he's got anything else. Uh, what else? I've got a couple of these Dell docking stations, but they won't fit the laptop I wanted them to fit. <laughs> Oh, I was hoping they were going to fit that, but they don't. I've got another one of these illuminated cinema light things, light box. And a Casio calculator that's currently not working. And, and, before my camera rudely interrupted, I've got a Sky Remote for that box. So I'm hoping that works. I didn't actually press any buttons on it. Oh. It does. I just need to turn that on and see if it works with that. I hope it does. Anyway, I've got, yeah, I've got this TV and the PC from the same seller. Um, it came with an 80 gigabyte hard drive. IDE, this is an old XP rig, so it's nothing special. Uh, I've already had a peek inside. I mean, you can see the from there that's all caked in under here as well um, but apparently it, it works it's got 512 megabytes of RAM which is uh, made up of two 256 meg sticks two optical drives power supply fan no front fan but it's only a little XP so that should be adequate enough uh, <laughs> 80 gigabyte Western Digital. This was actually loose like this, and it was connected. Like I said, I took the panel off to have a look because I want to know what was rattling about. 
Um, so I'm hoping this hasn't got damaged during transport. What worries me is the fact it's loose is um, those who are selling this, if they you know just chuck that about and I just hope that hasn't damaged the hard drive. But we do have a video card upgrade, a dial-up modem and a LAN card in here. But on the motherboard we do have onboard video, we have serial, not the PS2 ports for mouse and keyboard, parallel, full USB ports, firewire, LAN and audio and whatnot. So, and a green light. <laughs> And that is actually set on 230 volt. It's got a sticker on it. Ooh. There's actually a fair bit of weight in that. Oh, and it actually came with this cover over the VGA socket. By the way up. Not just on there like that. Yeah. I'm pretty certain I haven't had the video card out of this yet, but... I've had a bit of a look around it from what I can see, and I'm pretty certain that's an NVIDIA. I can't remember the model number. But I'm also certain it's either going to have 64 megs of RAM or 128 megs. If I'm lucky, it'll have the 128 megs, but I've got this feeling it's only going to be the 64 megabyte one. I remember when they were all the rage and all, you know, and top of the range and whatnot. Ah, screwless tool. Screwless tools. Duh. Toolless release catches. If it works, I'll probably just leave it exactly as it is, but I'm going to check all that in another video. Because, uh, I've got to plug the RAM in, then I've got to mess around making some space in the kitchen, or really don't want to be doing that right now so we'll do that on a separate video plus it just lengthens the you know the time of this video so right moving on I'll start to move lamps from the shelving here into the um, outside closet I've uh, actually what I've done is just stack the lamps on the existing couple of shelves that were in there. I actually got quite a lot because one of them actually comes out about that far from the wall. So I did get quite a bit on there. Uh, enough to, you know, clear half of each row. So I've got my big metal fire engine there, then I've got my Technic sets, my big ones, four big ones. Match boxes I've put back up there. Eventually I will get some more boxed ones in this colour box because I really I don't know why I just like that design. I want to go all the way along the shelf. That's what I want to do. I want to go all the way along the front of that shelf. Uh got my corgis on the top of this shelf. They were going all the way along the front there, in front of the lamps, but I had a bit of a shift around and just bunched them all. Woo! I thought it was going to trip over the TV and uh, rearrange them all up this end. Some of them are not in the best of conditions, but I've got a few more corgis down there as well. Yay! Anywho, yeah, um, I've got some parts of an old wardrobe. I've got two doors and two sides. My little brother, he's just um, changed all of his. So I'll be able to cut both sides into two, so that will give me four shelves, and I can do the same for the doors. Give me another four shelves. So I've got eight shelves for that closet, but that's not going to be enough for both sides of the closet. Might be able to stretch one shelf over to the other side, I don't know yet. Um, but it certainly won't be enough to sort a full display out in there but it would be enough for me to go and clear the rest of this so I'm still going to need another wardrobe at least to make the shelves with or just something some planks of wood or something to make the shelves with 
and then I can uh, find something else to put on these shelves. <laughs> I haven't actually uh, decided on what yet. It'd be nice if I could get some of my games consoles up there actually. Because I'll be out of the way. And, well, I say out of the way, I'd be displayed better. And uh, I think wiring would be the prob problem though. I can't get behind the shelves, so I'd have to actually have to make a hole right through those shelves. That might be a problem. Because there's supports. Little bits of wood going that way in these shelves to strengthen them, so... Mm. That might be a bit of a problem. Mind you, if I tap along it, I should be able to hear where those uh, dividers are. I don't really need a big hole, I probably want a little hole like that. Drill through, and only three, because I've only got three consoles down here. I was just thinking that would actually look nicer up there. It'd be easier to use them as well. Hmm. I might actually do that. Because I know on the older consoles they have bloody long cables. So it really would not be hard to like put the Atari and the Mega Drive further away on the PS1. Somebody, you know what, I might do that. See how many consoles I can line up on there. <clears throat> uh, I think I'll just leave the PS2 where it is because it's on this setup anyway. Right. Across the floor out of the way because I do not want to get up during the night and trip over the bloody thing. Okay, so it's quarter twelve. All right, rambled on for 15 minutes, which isn't bad for me. So I'm not going to ramble on anymore and bore you all to death. I'm going to shut the video down. I am, however, going to pick my corned beef up off the floor because it just fell out of the fridge. I think it's these ones I want. I want a drink. It's probably another reason why my sugars are like they are because I don't drink enough. I'm an absolute sod for not drinking enough, and that's not good. It really is not good. Right. So, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked the video, and uh, stay tuned for more progress on the shelves in the bedroom, and hopefully some more progress in and around the flat in general on a lot of these bloody projects. I'd like to get some done by the end of the year, preferably. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.